Hello everyone and welcome to my Vanderpump official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Lala Kent responds to speculation that she is fighting with Ariana Maddox, even though the scandal of it all made season 10 of Vanderpump Rules explosive and mentally taxing for everyone involved. Lala Kent seemed to be enjoying it based on the eventual boatload of send it to Darrell money and the validation of her sneaking suspicions. However, VPR season 11 is presently under production, and it appears that a lot has changed, not in the manner that everyone still finds lightning and white nail paint repulsive. However, it appears that the cast's dynamics, rumors of a breakup between Lala and Ariana Maddox have surfaced. Lala addressed the rumors in an Amazon Live broadcast from August. Are Lala and Ariana at odds with one another in between highlighting a few of her favorite Amazon picks? Lala responded to a long-pending fan inquiry. Can you tell us if you and Ariana are actually fighting because everyone keeps talking about it? Lala began by expressing her sarcasm before expressing how difficult it has been to film this season. Rather than providing a clear answer, she encouraged everyone to watch to see the cast change, which is probably due to Tom Sandoval's return following his affair with Rachel Raquel Levis, who isn't returning. She made a face that said, no, I don't know what you're talking about, but she answered, no, I don't. The single mother grinned and said she was kidding. She later urged her followers to watch Vanderpump Rules' forthcoming season so they might learn more about her relationship with Ariana. When this season airs, you guys will just have to wait and see how it goes. It is the most ridiculous season I have ever filmed, according to Lala. Lala asserts that she'll always prefer her girlfriends to some guy. Later on in the live, when another fan questioned about it, Lala did provide a little bit more of an explanation. She implied that she and Ariana get along well and that she always prefers girls over poo-poo heads. How are things between you and Ariana? She said, everything is fine. I simply adore women. We may go toes when we're around girls. But guess what? Still, I'd rather be with you than some other guy. Whether Lala and Ariana actually had a disagreement and whether something about her will name a sandwich after it or questions, we'll have to wait until the beginning of 2024, but it seems like the drama will undoubtedly include some tension in their friendship as well as some drinking. The Vanderpump Rules season 11 filming, according to Lala Kent, was the most difficult. The cast of Vanderpump Rules was taken aback when season 11 filming began so soon after the previous season's reunion. Executives at Bravo were obviously keen to document the fallout from all that scandal drama. Season 11 was therefore already unusual. Of course, the situation had changed significantly. Lala Kent, a VPR guru, has commented on its difficulties ever since filming started in the early summer. A final outing with the cast to San Francisco was captured on film. With Tom Sandoval being embroiled in a drunken altercation, a lot of drama occurred. Lala can now exhale with satisfaction that it is over. On Friday, September 1, the founder of Give Them Lala Beauty did indeed celebrate by posting to her Instagram stories. The 11th season has concluded. Vanderpump Rules filming is something I adore doing. I'll admit that this was one of the most challenging seasons I've ever experienced. What a crazy and odd summer, but it's over now, Lala wrote on her stories. Just in time for Lala to celebrate her birthday with her daughter, Ocean, the filming was over. So crazy, another one gone, and now I get to celebrate my F. King birthday, she gushed. I'll fly home to my infant tomorrow when I turn 33, and I'll just be glad for this existence. In season 10, Lala was more susceptible to being affected by flashbacks about her ex -fiance. She also made reference to custody disputes between herself and Randall Emmett, the father of her child. Lala may be able to find some relief with the forthcoming season after admitting on Amazon Live last month that the group's dynamic is strange. Additionally, I'm in a very odd place where I'm attempting to heal and stop projecting my experience onto everyone I come across. I'm making an effort to take charge and be a little bit more understanding, jovial, and forgiving. I haven't always felt quite at ease there, she admitted at the time. Shiana Shea explains why Rachel Levis speaks out in her opinion. The timing of Rachel Levis' most recent three-part interview with Bethany Frankel has drawn criticism from Shiana Shea. 
The Vanderpump Rules actress wonders if Rachel would revisit her affair with Tom Sandoval in the first edition of her Sheenanigans podcast on September 1. That is what Sheena finds so strange, because Rachel won't be appearing on the show again. You want to change your name, avoid the spotlight, avoid returning to Los Angeles, avoid being a member of this friend group, and you don't want to communicate with Tom Sandoval any longer. According to Sheena, there's more to the tale. Mrs. Brock Davies describes it as a totally weird coincidence, but speculates that it was time to harm Pump Rules' chances of winning an Emmy the next day. In July 2023, VPR received its first two Emmy nominations after 10 years on the air. Most likely, the attention is a result of the intense media coverage of the Scandoval scandal in March 2023. In case you forgot, Sandoval and Ariana Maddox's nine-year relationship ended abruptly after it was discovered that he'd had been seeing Rachel for several months. Infighting among the cast members was evident at the season 10 reunion. After that, Rachel went to a psychiatric hospital and declared last month that she would not be returning to the show. Rachel asserted, My temperament is really loving and forgiving of other people, so it just blows my mind to think of myself as the ultimate reality TV villain. At the reunion, Ariana spoke to me in an inappropriate manner. Really? She shouldn't have treated you rudely after you snuck around with her boyfriend and lied to her for months, do you think? Yes, January. Rachel also played down her friendships with Ariana and Shiana. Ariana and I were not the best of friends, the former beauty queen admitted. We were acquaintances who, thanks to the play, became friends. She has always been quite kind to me. She would advocate for me and support me. Yet, we never had the kind of in-depth discussion I would have with a best friend. Despite Shiana's admission that they were good friends, Rachel remained dubious of her intentions. Sheena gave Rachel use of an empty LA flat she owned after splitting up with DJ James Kennedy. Rachel added, She started fabricating this story that she was the sister I never had and was like a mother to me. She provided me with housing when no one else would and claimed that I had not made my rent payments, which is untrue. I did take care of her pet and paid the rent. Also, I produced her podcasts, Rachel affirmed. The podcast I recorded with Shiana in which I discussed my breakup with James reportedly received the most attention. It's just awful that she's trying to paint a picture of me exploiting her when I actually feel like I did contribute. Shiana, on her part, has lost interest in being friends with Rachel. Her chat with Bethany is referred to as the final nail in the coffin. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.